what are you what about you krill are you all right yeah yeah no i was faking it the whole time i just wanted you to heal my dragon no no she's not krill no no she's fine again she just passed out i'm all right really Jeez, everyone around here goes overboard little girls and their dragons you stay and get some rest young lady yes grandpa thank you crew that's okay thank you for helping the dragon really and then we yeah this is clearly not supposed to be blue anymore damn it fix the colors game you rest up now here yeah. Yes, you take care too, Grandpa. Yeah, you do that. You you go rest up. Now let's go see Gil the Sage, right? R. Okay. And we're right. Uh, we were told to rest. I take it we're not doing that. So on to the dragon, and we can fly away from the glitchy blue. Yes, up. There we go. Yeah, the, the blue thing, sometimes it, it gets stuck that way. There's not much I can do to fix it. But we finally have the dragon that we've been working to get for quite some time here. Oh, huh, there's a cave. Let's head over here, though. We can head over the Kelb Village, and we can continue heading... Northeast, we can avoid all the battles here, which is very, very nice. And we can head up here to where Gil probably is. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, he's a he's a sage. So in other words, he must be in the wilderness alone. What's this place where Sage Gil lives? Let's go in. Hold. Earthquake. The island. Better get back to the dragon. Yeah. What's going on? Gil! No, Gil! Wait, his name is Gil. Does that mean he can breathe underwater? Probably not. Damn it, Gil! I hardly knew ye. I bet this is your doing, isn't it, Xta? This is what happens to those who defy me. It is his doing. And... Hooray, our dragon can fly underwater. And we have escaped the sinking island. But now, where do we go? We are, well, more or less free to explore wherever we should happen to choose. I just so uh, happen to choose here. Now, did I not land? I swore I, I pressed the button. I'm going to save just outside here. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. And we have found Sergate Castle. That's not important. Let me in. I am the chosen one. Well, the four chosen ones. I represent the group. What did I just say? King Galef. What were you imbeciles thinking? This is the King of Val. King Ziza is leading the Sergate fleet to Xdeath's castle. Good. Ziza, be he one of the Dawn Warriors? Yes! Do you not remember the cutscene? He had the freaking horns, the, like Maleficent horns. I want to know more about Ziza. We're finally going to get to meet him? I want to meet this Ziza. What's that crazy guy up to? An old war buddy of my father's. This way, please. I it's like they don't expect you to have gotten that cutscene with the werewolf. I think her name is Kelba. His name? Even though Kelba sounds like a girl's name to me, take anything in the castle you want, I will. Uh, there are quite a few paths that you can take here. I already see... well, there's three, there's four. So, I'm going to head up this path first, and I'm going to find a book. The song brings back a lot of memories of Ziza, and we get the Song of Speed. 
very, very nice. I believe that casts haste. It doesn't cast slow on the enemies. It casts haste on you. Uh, next place we want to go is up through here. And we can head into, well, this place over here. I'm not sure if it's a tower, if it's another keep. I'm not sure. Something as important is written there. The oldest book in the library. We can't find half of it, though. A thousand years old, and it's called the Sealed Book. Huh. This book talks about the terrible things X Death did 30 years ago. That might, nightmare must never happen again. Uh, now, to this point, we're not really told what X Death did 30 years ago. I mean, we're, we obviously just saw him, you know, kill a couple people, including Gale. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> you've looked at every book ever. Uh, but really, in terms of what made him so bad to begin with, we're, we're kind of left in the dark about that. I know I've seen a book just like this somewhere. Yes, because I remember all the books. Like that red one? I've seen the red one before. I think I see something over there. What's up? Help me straighten up. Okay, so there are three books out here. This forms a little bit of a puzzle. One that you definitely want to do. The rewards are very nice for this. Uh, you can get the Forbidden Book, uh, which needs to be put here. They are in alphabetical order. Um, it goes, you know, A, up here in the corner, over to here, down, and across, until you get to over here, which I think are, like, numbers. Register of Monsters, what is over here? There's nothing here? Okay, well, Z is here. Uh, I believe R is here. There we go. Put that back, and then we can grab this one, Weird Ronka, which would go here on the W to X shelf, and we are done. Now I'm going back to my room. I am an amateur librarian. It is a very difficult skill to have. Being a librarian it requires years of study to put books back in order. Let's head over here. The Book of the Mage, Lance for a Mage. This is the secret of my strength. What? Thank you for your help. Oh yeah, somewhere in this castle is an odd magic that lets you levitate. Levitate? We've never seen a spell that does that. I wonder what it's called. It's said over here. There is a full treasure chest over here with 5,000 gil in it. Okay, North Lake. Completely surrounded by mountains. This huge eye started glaring at me. It's amazing. I made it back alive. He sees you. In your nightmares. Let's head out of here. We can now head outside. I don't believe it's down here. I think the path over is under the bridge there. And now we can head into this little storeroom here, still in the library. And here we can find this treasure chest with float in it. Now, if I remember correctly, float is a time magic, which, well, it sucks for me. Uh, not necessarily the ability float. Float is actually very, very useful in many games. Uh, but I don't like it being classified as a time magic simply because I like using white and black magic more. So I, I rarely use a time magician, a time mage. So I prefer, you know, just plain white and black. But I respect that there are other kinds of magic. Uh, this game was the first one to really start pushing the ideas of the other kinds of magic, I feel, though. Uh, the time magic, the blue magic. I uh, believe there is... No, I, I think that's it. Just th just those other two. Uh, other games will start adding even more, which starts to get a little bit ridiculous, but there are definitely more kinds of magic. I think in Final Fantasy XII, there's like six or seven different kinds. They got like black, white, time, arcane. It was, it was starting to get a little ridiculous. But, let's head back to the King's Hall. How you doing? Yes, I will. I will indeed. However, the one thing that I really want to take, they're going to make me pay for. You can land your dragon on Ziza's ship. He's got an aircraft carrier. X-Death's castle is well protected on the big bridge side, but the eastern continent side is rather weak. That sounds like we have a plan of attack now. Yes, he, he, I understand. Yes, get rid of the barrier. Yes, King Ziza must return. Yes, I'm done with you. Let's head out of here. 
And we have found the shop. Uh, here's the inn. I don't think I need to use that just yet, but there it is just in case. And we have all of the shops, uh, including the three uh, shops here with Comet Slow 2 in return. If you haven't picked those up already, but you've had plenty of opportunity to pick those up. I assume that you do not have anything new as well. And then, of course, the white magic over here. Once again, nothing new. I'm not going to go through the screens to show that, though. Uh, but there are no new things here in the, the armor shop, unfortunately. I don't believe I need to purchase anything else at this time. I think I am good as is. Uh, this is the same thing that we saw in Kelb Village, definitely. Uh, this weapon shop, however, does have a few new items, including a spear. I have not been using spears at all to this point. Uh, however, I still won't. So we're going to go with the uh, Bison's Pride. I'm not sure if that's Bison's or Bison's. Uh, I'm going to get one of those and... Um, no, I, I don't think I need a, a, an axe. So just uh, Bison's Pride. That should be good enough. And I do need to restock on items. I might as well rest at the inn. There's nothing really stopping me from doing that. And then I will meet you outside where we can land our dragon on a ship, apparently. Okay, I have switched my party around just a little bit. Reyna is now a thief. I have uh, given her the ability Chakra. Not that I'm, prob I'm probably never going to be using that. I did need to purchase power to Suki for her. I had uh, nothing else for her to wear. Uh, she's still on the Dancing Dirk. Uh, the most important thing, however, is the thief's glove. Now we are ready to get on our dragon and go visit Ziza by landing on his ship because that makes sense. It's a medieval aircraft carrier with, you know, dragon landing zones and everything. Let's head down here, head across the bri big bridge. Uh, this probably isn't the only way to get over there, but this is definitely a way. We have those towers there once again, and here's the fleet. They look important. We have no idea what those towers do. And here is the, the giant aircraft carrier. You cannot land at the front of it. You have to land at the back. But still, you can land on the freaking thing. A flying dragon. It's Ziza. How is your hair, buddy? It looks awesome and green. I s see, the way that I picture this. Wait, they're friends. The way that I picture his hair is like the hair fills like tubes that form the horns. God, his hair is awesome. Galif! Ziza, how the devil have you been? Get it, devil? Because of the horns. Friends of yours! Yes, dragon son bugs. Dragons! I like your head! The other two are nobility from another planet. I am the warrior Ziza! Not King Ziza? No. I don't like that sort of thing. Me neither. Ah, uh, the problems of being a king. Say, can you get us into X Death's castle? Ah, you're in. You're halfway in already. First, come in and rest a moment. Okay. Awkward head nodding commence, and we're back in control. Oh, jeez, I got the thief back in. That's right. Do you have anything more to say? No, you do not. Uh, okay, we can attack it. The fleet's just a decoy. We need to buy more time. Even if we can destroy only one of the towers, the barrier will disappear. So there we go. If we destroy the towers, that will eliminate the barrier. That's what the towers are for. Map room with nothing else in it. So let's just head into the depths of the ship. I think it's called the hull. I am no navigator, no nautical man at all. Let's head over to the left side here. We can find a couple guys here. We're digging a tunnel in the bottom of the ocean. Enjoy your channel. Ow, my head. That is like the most dangerous job that I can think of, to be honest with you. It's just like, we're digging. Oh, here's a loose rock. Ah, the whole ocean fell on me. Damn it. Use the room on the right. Okay. So we'll head over here, and it's not like that they're the first ones to think of that. That actually did happen. Rest up a bit. I will. Where's it going? Like, uh, Calais to 
I forget what city in England it lands on. The freaking channel, you guys know what I mean, right? That thing is insane. Who said that was a good idea? It was a good idea, but who said it was? Monsters, everyone, get ready. If you don't have the thief, now would be the time to put the thief on, I would think. Uh, but, you know, you don't have to listen to me. I'm sure you can get away without a thief. Let's head back up to the surface, I guess you could say. Where? There are the stairs. Those ones are hard to see for whatever reason. Ziza, what is going on?